Na primeira banda se apresentar hoje no palco dois. Hi guys, welcome to Brazil. How are you doing today? Hello, very good, thank you. How are you, John? I'm fantastic, man. Thank you. So, I, I've, I've heard in an interview of you, a uh, recent interview, you were saying that this year is going to be the best year so far in your life, but we're still in March, so I want to know where, where does that come from? Um, basically just what we've got lined up already. Everything we've done up to this point, this year in particular, has been where we are right now and as the band is where we've always dreamt of being when we first started the band, so we kind of see anything that comes from here after this year is just beyond a joke really, beyond belief for us, so it's everything we ever dreamt of as kids growing up and playing in those little practice rooms or in bars to, we were saying we could, we're just playing a show in London and it's going to be like a 40,000 capacity back home, and I said to these the other day, I remember when we couldn't sell 40 tickets, and Larry said, I remember when you couldn't sell four tickets in London, yeah. so we remember playing to no one and getting to the scale it is now, so I just think that excitement and us saying it's going to be the best year yet is just because everything that's lined up, we've got massive shows in the UK that aren't announced yet, Massive ones in Australia, going to go back to Japan, going to come back here when, if you'll have us. These shows haven't even started yet and these are already... It's hard to like keep your mind in the moment because like my, my mind's already in September, you know, when you hear this like great year laid out ahead and the plans that we've got, you know, we're doing a support team, we get to play, one of our last gigs of the year is going to be uh, playing at the Rose Bowl in LA to like, you know, like for like 90,000 people or something like that and like it's hard to not get carried away with it when yeah. you've got like gigs like today, which are obviously going to be amazing. I think it's going to be like this and the year will be over for you, right? Yeah, because <laughs> well, we've only got how many shows are you for? And Strokes are on tonight, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be there. Yeah. Let's watch that concert. Thank you guys very, very much. Hope you have okay. a great time. Thank you. Yeah, I have to go because you have to play right now and people oh, are yeah. going to watch it. Gente, perguntei para eles, eu tenho que traduzir rapidamente, porque a gente tem que ir para o show, mas eles já disseram numa entrevista recente que esse vai ser o ano mais legal para a banda até hoje. E eu perguntei como eles sabem disso, afinal de contas ainda estamos no início do ano, e eles falaram que tem certeza, porque eles estão hoje no lugar que eles sempre sonharam chegar com a banda. É isso, gente, muito bacana, esse show vai ser demais, aproveita aí, porque Lola Palusa ao vivo é só no Multishow e no Canal Bis. Thank you very much, Thank guys. Tá aí, essa foi a entrevista que a Dedé fez com os meninos do Catfish and the Bottle Man, que aliás estão chegando agora aqui no palco 2, olha só. Hi! Os meninos estão interagindo aí com a música que tá tocando agora aqui no palco. Claramente escolhida pela banda. Essa é a primeira vez do Catfish aqui no Brasil e na América do Sul. E eles foram apontados pela imprensa britânica como a salvação do rock inglês. Olha que responsa para uma banda tão jovem, né? Como a Dedé comentou, o vocalista tem só 24 anos. Eles citam entre suas influências os Beatles, Arctic Monkeys e fazem um rock que é considerado o rock puro. Duas guitarras, bateria e baixo. Eles lançaram dois discos de estúdio, um em 2014, chamado The Balcony, e um em 2016, chamado The Ride. E dizem que já tem um terceiro disco pronto aí, mas estão só esperando a oportunidade de gravá-lo. Achei curiosa a escolha dessa música aqui para introduzir a banda no palco. Um jazz. Boa sorte, meninos. É isso aí, Catfish and the Bottom Man no palco 2 do Lola Palusa. Porque Lola Palusa ao vivo é só no Canal Bis e no Multishow.
I got misled, mistook the sky Anything that I said See, I'm not the type to call you a drunk But I got some lies to tell and She hates to work but loves to flirt It's a shame she don't work with me and She gets so tight, don't like when I'm gone But she won't let on to me Sao Paulo, Brazil, Lollapalooza, let's go! I said I'm only looking out for you, it's obvious that's a lie When I only ever put out for you, yeah, no, it's obvious you don't try Oh, what? I got mistook, I took the sand it's not as he didn't notice That I tried to steer clear of this place But I wound up with nothing to show for it. She said you never got that from me She said you never got that from me She said you never got that from me Oh yeah, you got that look from me I said I'm only looking out for you She said it's obvious that's a lie You never try oh. I got misled, mistook the sky Anything that I've said See, I'm not the type to call you a drunk
A sua tela é a sua janela para o mundo. Então por que não ter uma que é praticamente sem bordas?
arms. Lead those arms up to the back, arms up. This song's called Pacifier. Let's have a dance. Brazil, this is one of our new album. This song's called Anything. Thank you. It gets difficult to talk when you're nearly deaf of me because you start laughing. Throw your mix of 
Brazil, this one's off FIFA.
never looking up. Oh. Yeah, we were brought up not to notice. From the minute you regret it to the minute that you let me know. Brazil, Lollapalooza, are you still with us? This song's called Twice. Like a brother, so I get time. I just regret most shit. From every hangover, my head feels to every exciting treat, right? To every Monday, I call them sick. To every argument, I let slide. Oh, Christ. Thrice, nah. Swatch it, put me down, and it's the last.
Brazil, Sao Paulo, I just want to say thank you again. This is our first time here. So thank you to anybody who's come down tonight for this afternoon. This is the first song off our new album, The Ride. This song's called Seven.
Lollapalooza. Sao Paulo, Brazil. This song's called Cocoon. From the off, just the straight yeah. into your arms, like a drum. It's been on it all morning, and the sun's up, and my head's full. And immediately, me grab you. You go all red like the first time. I love it when you do that. Yeah. Gotta love it when you do that. Over to you, Lola Palooza. I remember when. I need you louder than that. Let's take it up a level, Brazil. Cause fuck it if they. Got that visible breathing Become dependent on me again And I never want to Thought maybe Thought friends Okay, shit Are we going? Oh, 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 oh,
Sao Paulo, Brazil. Honestly, thank you very much for this. This has been quality. Anytime you want us back, we'll be back. We're Catfish and the Battle Men. <laughs> this has been class. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the festival. This is the last song of our first album. This song's called Tyrants. Sing a bit.
Catfish and the Bottle Man, uma banda jovem fazendo uma estreia de gente grande aqui no Brasil. Eles que fizeram um show bem objetivo, bem lá no alto, agitado. As músicas têm um beat mais acelerado, assim, e eles tocam um rock clássico. A gente que tá vendo aqui no Lollapalooza várias bandas que fazem uma grande mistura de estilos e de elementos, bandas que têm uma estrutura mais de banda de rock, que misturam elementos eletrônicos. Eles não, eles são do rock clássico. É baixo bateria, guitarra e voz. E tenho que dizer que o Van McCann um grande frontman, assim, além de ter dado conta do recado ali tocando guitarra e cantando as músicas, se porta muito bem, se porta como um veterano no palco e tem uma comunicação muito legal com a galera. Eles que distribuíram o setlist desse show certinho entre o primeiro disco, The Balcony, de 2014, e o The Ride, do ano passado. 
Acho que não, é um show de festival, primeira vez deles no Brasil, quiseram contemplar aí um pouco do gosto de todo mundo. E tô esperando eles saírem aqui do palco, porque quero perguntar para eles quão surpresos eles estão, porque muitos fãs aqui no Brasil, o pessoal cantou muito as músicas, vibrou com o início de cada uma delas. Eu queria até destacar a Kathleen e a Twice, duas músicas do primeiro disco, foram muito, muito vibradas. Assim como a Seven, a música que abre o The Ride, que... É, humildemente, a minha preferida, gostei muito. Os meninos estão de parabéns, diria que eles têm um belo futuro pela frente e devem estar ali pelo palco ainda, dando aquela, na, aquela respiradinha, vendo como é que o pessoal está se portando, porque deu para ver que tem bastante gente aqui no Brasil que já conhece o trabalho da banda. Estavam, inclusive, antes do show, estava falando que até o Larry, o Hold, foi ovacionado. Hey, guys! Hello. How are you? Very good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. So, how was it for you? Epic. <laughs> How was it for you? Wow, you, you hurt your finger, right? Sweating, yeah, a little bit, it's okay. It's rock and roll, the right? The gig was good, the gig was yeah. very good, the crowd was great. <laughs> so how surprised are you guys? Because you have so many fans already in Brazil. It was pretty unreal. I mean, there's a moment in the middle of the set where we turned around and it's like, this doesn't feel like the first time we've been in Brazil. It was a, a lovely reception. Oh, great. And your songs, they work like so well live. Do you think about that when, when you're composing or it just happens? Um, yeah, oh yeah, it's all, it's all mapped out. That was a... <laughs> That's been a plan from the start, really. Everything we write is to play live. We never write for songs in the charts or try and write hit songs. We write to make people go nuts. So to come over here, like they said, and first time, hear everyone singing every word to everyone is pretty exciting for us. Wait till we're back two more times, third time. It's going to be nuts. Yeah, give me just one minute. I have to translate and I... Okay. Alguém? Então, gente, estou aqui conversando com eles. Não, não, you relax. Estou aqui conversando com eles, mas preciso passar para vocês um pouquinho da tradução. Perguntei como foi, vocês estão muito surpresos pela quantidade de fãs que tem no Brasil. E estão muito felizes com o show, ele até cortou a guitarra, o dedo com a guitarra, mas é o rock and roll, tá tudo certo. Falaram que a sensação era de nem ser a primeira vez. Comentei que as músicas funcionam muito bem ao vivo, se isso é pensado ou se simplesmente acontece. Eles falaram que o negócio é esse mesmo, eles fazem música para tocar para a galera levantar. E tá funcionando. So guys, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm gonna Pleasure. let you get some rest. So Just tell me, do you want to watch? Thank you. What, do you want? Are you going to stick around and watch some concerts? Oh yeah. I'm gonna be on his shoulders for the strokes, and then he's gonna be on his shoulders. You've been to and Paul at the side for the strokes, yeah. Great. I'm going to be there on somebody's shoulders as well. Okay. Great. So have great. some rest. Thank you. Congratulations thank you for your concert. It was kick-ass. <laughs> É isso, perguntei, eles já estão se despedindo aqui, perguntei se eles vão ficar pelo festival e, e assistir algum show, eles falaram que com certeza vão ficar por aí assistir o The Strokes, um em cima do ombro dos outros.